Next to God, faith, and country, nothing is more important than influence. The Wall Street Journal is coming out with a piece called the Super Lobbyist. Do you know what that is? That's me. I'm the Super Lobbyist. I'm legally allowed to accept money from special interests in order to influence Congress on their behalf. You want $30 million in fees. You want to kick some ass on the hill? We can do it. Show me the money! all part of the bigger picture, Pam. Philanthropy, the academy, my foundation, the restaurants, the boats, the hotel. I'm trying to do important stuff that matters for people. Potentially bad news for leading well, members of Congress. You're costing us 70 million, Jack. Hey, I'm not just talking yes, about sir. the 20 million you took off my people. They, they believe revolution. corruption and illegal activity. Excuse me. Yes. This is Agent Patterson with the FBI. Yeah, I have to call you back. Mr. President. I gotta say, considering that Jack Abramoff, the, the lobbyist and one of the biggest criminals in recent history in Washington, well, uh, uh, you, yeah. you, you gotta qualify that. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. who has actually yeah. been in prison. <laughs> yeah. Someone who was caught. <laughs> is, this movie is is pretty fair to him, all things considered. It is. Um, and I think that's why it has about a halfway rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Seems like a lot of people were accusing Casino Jack of being, and the word is unbalanced, but the truth is, I think what they want is for it to be more unbalanced. Yes. I mean, they want a straight up attack piece yeah. because right now he is still news. They want to see him as a bad guy. Which they want I, to see I him completely understand. Hundred yeah. percent as a bad guy, and yeah. there's no question he is, uh, you know, not a good guy. <laughs> but at least as far as what he did, I mean, he is a criminal. But he's presented as all too human here. <laughs> uh, you know what? And the thing is, uh, I I could like totally buy this as I'm like, hey, just showing a human side of him, giving him that charisma, showing you why people followed him and all, until I saw the documentary on him that's of the almost the same name casino yeah. jack in the united states yeah. of america where you find out this guy actually is a much bigger scumbag the united than, states uh, of money yeah the united yeah. states of money yeah. he's a, in real life he's a much bigger scumbag uh, than they portray him in this movie see because i thought he was just a big movie dork with lots of power <laughs> <So>. <laughs> yeah 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 the way they show him here and, yeah. and you know i understand hey you gonna he make could a, be one of us a, a, docu <laughs> a documentary is a documentary but you want to make yeah. a movie you know, you gotta make him charming. Otherwise, people turn off. Well, here's the thing, though. If you remember that movie, they made a big point of saying part of the reason he was as successful as he was was that he was really charming. Everybody sure. liked him. Yeah. Like, even people who wouldn't think that they would like him, who went in ready to fight, were like, oh, that guy's all right. I mean, we probably would like him because he goes around constantly quoting movies and doing impressions. Oh, yeah. Something I thought was just a thing they added in this movie because mm -hmm. Kevin Spacey's so good at impressions. But I looked it up, and sure enough, oh, yeah. Jack Abramoff was well known for doing <laughs> yeah. impressions of characters from movies. He, he kind of reminded me of like Alex Jones because I don't <laughs> yeah. know, like watching Alex Jones do his show and be yeah. like, you know, he's, he's he's really throwing his point of view at, at everyone's face, you know, unrelenting. But when the camera's off, he's he's going, mm, away, put your weapons on me. You know how. You're like, oh, that guy's not so yeah. bad. Co-host, I'm wondering, why are you here? I'm like, I'm here to do a show. You want to get out of here? And, Alex Jones, you're so crazy. And Spacey is really the perfect choice to play this type of character. Somebody who is, you know, past flawed. Somebody who is, in many ways, a scumbag. I mean, he is ethically screwed up as you get yeah. he has get turned rationalization of his acts into a science so fine it actually is kind of science well, at this it, point it, i mean here's a guy who said like no the pilgrims didn't fuck the indians enough yeah. i can get back in there yeah. and do some more damage <laughs> yeah. yeah and the thing is he, he, the, the problem with this movie for me was that he was so charming i was like wow i want to be this guy i really do want to manipulate i really do want to fuck people over because he makes it seem like so much fun he, <laughs> yeah he makes it all strategy and fun yeah and, he's like hey, consequences what the fuck is that i've never heard of the word don't hate the player hate the game <laughs> yeah. i mean it's a rise and fall story and like many of them it starts off with you know the fall with him his partner uh um Oh, good Lord. I'm forgetting his name right now. Little uh, bitch. <laughs> no, Michael Scanlon, played by Barry Pepper, yeah. uh, calling him frantically, saying, dude, we're fucked, dude, we're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, relax, relax, we're not fucked. Uh, I call the grand jury and tell mom to testify against my partner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's it, everything is clearly going to go wrong. If you're unaware of the news, if you don't watch CNN, don't worry, this film will fill in those gaps. It really does right do a good job beginning. of filling in mm -hmm. most but, of it. But after the beginning, it goes back, okay, two years earlier. And so the film is watching this guy who is a, one of the most powerful lobbyists at one point called a super lobbyist right. in Washington DC Jack Abramoff uh, go from riches to really sick riches mm -hmm. as he makes deals with Indian casinos to basically uh, basically uh, 
with the casino laws opening up and more and more places, reservations looking for casinos, certain people who already had them were nervous about other nearby ones. And so they signed deals with Abramoff to lobby Washington to keep those other reservations who nearby from being able to open up their own so they don't have competition. The problem is Abramoff is just siphoning off the huge funds and not really giving them their money's worth at all. And, and meanwhile, and, him and his friends are out like putting like the Millennium Falcon and the Attic, the bigger versions of those toys on layaway and <laughs> really yeah. not realizing that, you know, hey, this shit isn't really done yet, you know, but they, they, they're so confident that their their course of action, what they plan on doing, it, it's it, there's no way anybody can fuck it up. But you, you know, oh they're boy. the biggest name drop in the world is how they do it too because they go well i have i've been a lobbyist for years and i have all these hollywood pl or not hollywood well yeah but that's yeah that that's too, another story yeah. yeah i know dolph lundgren <laughs> yeah. you know, i have all these washington players like most notably tom delay here uh uh who are my Recently buddies indicted. yeah who <laughs> 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 may be going to jail as well <laughs> hooray uh as you know, people I can call on, and he th uses these names, he throws them around, and sure enough, he's able to say, "Look, man, I I funneled thirty million dollars into your bank account, uh, specifically for these interest groups that you wouldn't have gotten otherwise. You owe me." Mm. And this is how this guy gets things done, which of course means, at the same time, the moment things start to turn against him and the press get involved, thanks to uh, Michael Scanlon's uh, disgruntled ex, <laughs> uh, the lesson to self: uh, never. Tempt the wrath of a redhead. Yes, <laughs> uh, but thanks to her, uh, or, or these, just these, don't, don't save your, your mistress's panties. <laughs> they discover these guys aren't friends. They're they're they'll turn on you just as fast as anything. And I think that the movie's big point, and I think this may irritate some people, is not to hold him up as a strictly a villain, but just part of a big system of things. Mm -hmm. Well, that that is the thing. I mean, it's this is just one more tale of. Why our economy and our government sucks? Yeah, it's 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 just another slice of it. And this is this guy was just so bold that he got busted, and now he's everywhere. And you know, Cyrus, and you were explaining it. It's like you know what? Most of the people that he fucked over, they deserved it. You know, paying a lobbyist to keep other people from being able to do business. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to cry for you. No. I, I'm not going to be I, Iron Eyes Cody crying because there's trash in America or because you you didn't weren't able to stop another Indian casino from yeah. growing up. You know, fuck you. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody who dealt with him. This is just like just like with uh, with Bernie Madoff. All these people who like, hey, man, this guy, even though everybody else is losing money, this guy is making money with my money. Right. And hey, have you looked into that? They're, they're, well, yeah. I'm sure if he's doing it, it's, it's got to work. That's that's the problem. Yeah. That our whole yeah. collapse has been <laughs> yeah. people saying, telling people what they want to hear. Yeah. And then going like, well, yeah. I like the sound of that, so I'm going to back it up and go with it. Yeah. Well, they're all taking handouts from the devil. And then yeah. when everybody gets caught, it was like, the devil made me do it. Yeah. Well, the nail that <laughs> yeah. sticks out is the one, first one to get hammered in, which is exactly what's going on. Is he any more guilty than most of the other people in Washington, D.C.? Uh, <laughs> no, really, he's not. In fact, he's probably less guilty in yeah. some ways because at least he's somewhat honest about what's yeah. going on with all this. He's like, you know what? This is the system. What do you want? I mean, it's the very definition of what lobby are they are a, a legalized bribe deliverers right is exactly what they are it's all they fucking are and he goes look well, i don't understand why everyone's so upset i mean okay he broke the law many many times over and got rich but he really did it in such a way that feels like it's very much Kind of, you know, it, it, you draw an allegory to what his legal job is. You're like, well, it's really not that different from what yeah. he does legally. You know? Yeah, but then there's that whole thing of getting involved with the gangsters and yeah, and, and, well, and a murder that that yeah. comes. Well, up and which is again, hanging, which is which is a result of hanging out with fuck ups and employing yeah. fuck ups. You but know? you're, you know, I mean, and judging uh, judging just from this movie and not the documentary, it says, hey, I never had anything to do with that. That was something I was pissed off about when I found out about. I ordered the people involved to get away from those people when it happened anyway. You know, I mean, I know it's no excuse yeah, to say, not, when, when, but... When I, when I hired John Gotti as my business partner, <laughs> I had no idea he was running drug and pro prostitution rings, and I shouldn't be punished for that. In this case, it's uh, John Lovitz, and it's surprisingly <laughs> funny for Lovitz, since it's been a long time, dude. Oh, come on uh, now. Before, yeah. Since the critic. Oh, come <laughs> on. That, that, guy, always, that guy's always fun. I've I, always I like been him. a huge fan. Uh, yeah, every, every, every scene he's in, I'm always waiting for him to look at the camera and go, I <laughs> That's true. Uh, but he plays a sort of eh, he's not mob but he's connected to the mob kind of loser who who yeah. uh, uh uh spacey uses as his front man to to do a deal with this greek tycoon who owns a series of casinos on boats so they can get presumably tax-free you know offshore right, right. And they can't be touched uh, by the law yeah exactly and he is 
He's one of the many reasons that this movie is surprisingly funny. I was expecting something much more, I don't know, dry and serious, but it's really funny all the way throughout. Even when you're mad oh, at no. Jack Kaberhoff in it. Spacey is just delivering zingers and he is like I mean he's he's at he he's still playing a character not that different from what we're used to for him but he's at the top of his game while he's doing it he it, really is It makes me think it, it made me wonder watching this if it was actually like it's it's supposed to be like a political comedy or yeah. just kind of is just a satire within itself but uh no but the thing is yeah I think it was good that they brought in a character like John Lovitz cuz I mean it really made you think like wow okay if this shit is actually going on, I don't know how much of this is true and how much of this is fictional, but Jesus Christ, man. It, yeah, we are run by a bunch of clowns. I mean, <laughs> it, it is amazing to me. And, and the more they just point it, point the finger at these people and show them how, how, how just easy it is for them to get away with all the shit that they're doing because they're under this huge political umbrella of like, hey, we're hanging out at the White House. We're important. We're better than you. You guys are idiots, and we're just here playing with you like our little action figures. It's scary to think, like, wow, that's fucking nuts. And yeah. It, yeah. Well, Abramoff keeps saying throughout the movie, it is really all about influence. That's all it's about. Because you can get anything you want if you have the right amount of influence, which is the game he plays 100% all the way through. And sure enough, he's not really wrong, but he does make that fatal mistake of mistaking that influence for friendship. And that's mm -hmm. you know that's not a mistake one should make. Really. The, 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 the movie should have a, a, a Lincoln, like the statue of Lincoln, the, the plaque under it. It's not, it's not what you know, it's who you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is a story. It, it's it's a, it's another typical story of just somebody who got way too greedy. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, 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 and it was, and I thought it was thoroughly enjoyable. Actually, it, it was. But as you say, a typical story to me, probably what what knocks us down was like watching it, and I felt like I've seen this movie before. Mm. Not really these particular events, but this type of movie. It's it's just you know, and it wasn't even one of the best of those that I've that I've seen. And it's enjoyable for every reason you guys say. And I, I liked it. Uh, I liked it a lot. But at the same time, I was like, well, I'm not really bowled over by it. It yeah. stood out partially because of Spacey, who was nice to see do a return yes. for him. It's been a while since we've seen him have a, uh, a you know a leading role like this that was this strong. Like we all thought he would. You know, after American Beauty and Seven, did everybody say, well, Spacey, he's going to be with us for a while now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, how could that guy sink down to, oh, K-Pax, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, he tried to do different, you know, he tried to use it to do different things. And sometimes it works. Sometimes, sometimes it works, it sometimes doesn't. not. Didn't yeah. work for him. I mean, and, and, you know, he took off to go to England to start a, a, a theater yeah, uh, run a theater. Over he keeps there. claiming he's going to retire. I, pff, okay, if, if, right. yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's yeah. waiting to go out like on an Academy Award winning film. But maybe. I, I, Ozzy said the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah but Ozzy can't remember what he just said. <laughs> I, 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 I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that loss of memory is making him a lot of money. Or, so. or it's possible they just totally didn't understand what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Man, quit. <laughs> I, I think he said he wants a sandwich. No, he said he's retiring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I. Spacey leads with confidence, and it's fun to see him pull out. What we always knew, remember him from the old Saturday Night Live days, his his impressions because he oh, yeah. is a you know this role was either going to go to him or Kevin Pollock. You know, as far as <laughs> Kevin a Pollock white, ain't doing shit. The white guy who's good at impressions. Kevin, you know? Kevin Pollock has a tin cup saying, "Hey, I'll do impressions of William Shatner if you give yeah. me a dollar." <laughs> yeah, they could have brought him in and the Ghost of Peace yeah. Pete Post have been the usual suspects too. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> Kevin Pollock. You go wait at the end of the line with a carrot top over there. <laughs> no, no, you get you know the com camaraderie you know for what it was between him and Barry Pepper worked really well. It's just funny to me, like watching him do the whole thing with them being movie buffs and doing mm -hmm. the quotes. I was like, "Well, that's a cute thing you write for a movie." Only to find out, like, "Oh no, that's that's how really how these guys work." I know, mm -hmm. yeah. What business could you possibly have with a man like that? <sighs> Honey, he's got a law degree from Brooklyn College. He looks like a defendant on Judge Judy. <laughs> I mean, have a little compassion. He's a partner in a casino in San Martin. He's a respectable guy who knows a lot. He can be a very useful partner. Useful for what? In five years, our family will be completely legitimate. Would you please stop it with that? Quoting movies all the time, it's irritating. Oh, come on, honey. You know I love the movies. And I am a Hollywood producer. <laughs> you produced two Dolph Lundgren movies, okay? You work in Washington now. Babe. Washington is Hollywood with ugly faces. I'm serious, Jack. He makes me nervous. And another thing, I mean, how is it that we're late with the mortgage payment? 
We're okay, aren't we? Oh, yeah, no, this just must be some accounting thing. I'll look into it in the morning. I mean, there's a lot of it that, that is so accurate. I, I'm surprised by how accurate it is. But there's also so, those things, like, I almost wish I hadn't seen that documentary. Because to find out just how much Abramoff, like, used his uh, association with the religious right yeah. and, the, um, and the Republican Party to move himself up. Well, they present him here as if, like, he's a very serious into Judaism, which apparently, at least on some level, he was. But, you know, he wasn't obviously afraid at all to manipulate oh, no. and claim allegiance to the, the very christian fundamentalist right well, which is like in and of itself i i can't believe the jewish community has welcomed him back which they have by have the they way. really because because to me he represents every negative stereotype that people have about jewish i know people. exactly wow. he is practically a, you know a cliche written yeah. in a nazi pa pamphlet yeah, yeah, yeah exactly he, he's, like, they, he's like something hitler yeah. would have created yeah how, um, come, how come they forgive him and not jesus <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was yeah. them that needed to forget. Yeah, 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 yeah not them. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, but talk now, to Bill Gibson about that. Uh, yeah, well, you know, uh, Imroff actually got out of jail in December, and he worked at a Jewish pizza, a kosher pizza place. Literally, oh, for was, 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 him, was he working with Mel Gibson? Right, Were they right, on the no. same shift? No, apparently he was like, they talked to the owner. He's like, no, he's great. He's like really funny. Everybody likes him. He never complains. He's an extremely good worker. He's working for seven fifty to $10 an hour. It's like a work release program. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and he wow. does a great Al Pacino. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, I don't believe that guy for a second. And it's like, it reminds me of that scene in uh, uh, um, uh, Coming to America when you see the, the trading places guys uh, on the street. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're back. Yeah. Randolph. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, what, what do you guys give this? Uh, once again, you know, I, I I give it a matinee and even a high matinee, and just it just has some ticks for me. It just in that, as it was really good, but it just wasn't great. It just didn't move over into great for me. Mm -hmm. But I did really enjoy it. Yeah, if uh, Martin Scorsese probably would, if he would have directed this, it probably would have been great. But uh, yeah, no, it, it was. Uh, I'm going to give it a matinee because I, I enjoyed the hell out of the performances. John Lovitz makes his surprising return to <laughs> yeah. film. Thank God, uh, I, I'm looking more forward to his comedy hijinks in the, in the you know in the future. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it is a story we've seen before. But you know, the thing where you know the thing where it gets points is the, the Kevin Spacey and everyone involved. Like, yeah, the chemistry between him and his buddy, um, the actor Barry Pepper. I, yeah, I, I thought they were great together. Yeah, and uh, but yeah, I mean it, it's it's a fun movie, but it's something, it's a movie that I may end up forgetting like in in, in the next. Well, couple you, of weeks, you bring up yeah. the thing about Scorsese. Yeah, it is one of those like if he had done it, although you, you know it certainly would get those Goodfellas casino comparisons. Oh yeah. But you know when he does a movie like that, he has the budget, and he's got the mm -hmm. style and the yeah. know how to really just sell it to where it's like, wow, this is a classic movie I could watch over and over. Oh, yeah. And here, I just thought I thought you know I thought the budget on it showed they probably did more with their budget than you would think, but there's still some places where it was just kind of limited and it, it just didn't quite have it. It's a decent rise and fall story. And yes. we've seen many of these films. It really is. It's very competent and, and Spacey elevates it quite a bit over the actual, you know, material in the script. It didn't help that I had just seen Casino Jack in the United States of Money as well, so I already knew everything that was gonna happen right. really. Uh, but you know what? I, I, I got to say, it really is a matinee. I, apologies to the family of its director, George Hickenlooper, who died right after making it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, and like very young, too. Uh, had some sort of uh, uh, overdose of, uh, a slight overdose of medication with alcohol that because of an enlarged heart, he died in his sleep. Ugh. Yeah. Either that or somebody killed him. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Abramov's people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's a matinee, and it's a good matinee. It's a strong matinee. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. I hope that anyone who is even mildly confused about the nature of what lobbyists are and, and why maybe it might be a bad thing for people in Washington to, you know, own stock in companies they're making political decisions about, it, it, why that would be a bad thing, should see this movie. You You're know? right. It, it's an important movie to watch, I think, because yeah. it shows you this, this area of government that we've all kind of heard about but don't really know yeah. the inner workings of. So yeah, it's it's yeah. it you know as a as a history as a government film mm -hmm. it, you know they should show it in schools. Yeah, and and a, a lobbyist. I just thought if somebody's like like somebody working night stock at, at Walmart or something, <laughs> and I was like, wow, they're the ones who have the strings. They're pulling the strings. <laughs> like, Jesus. Entertains and teaches. Although Jack Abramoff might pay you ten dollars not to see it. <laughs> it's like we're starring in our own movie. Sorry, honey, just trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> 